Today we're talking about a special steak that saved on cannibal lives and the country. Because in this episode we are making Salisbury steak. <laughs> Salisbury steaks have a long history in the U.S. and in the entire world. It was created by Dr. James Henry Salisbury in the middle of the Civil War. As in any war, most of the report deaths were attributed to disease instead of lead, and one of the causes for this disease was malnutrition and diarrhea. In today's world, we think of those symptoms as something mild that will go away in a few days. But think about it, without the knowledge of diets and disease we have today, it will be a mark of a certain death. And that is what Dr. Salisbury set up to fix, creating a diet that soldiers and anyone interested of not dying of diarrhea could easily follow. And to make the story short, that is how we got to know this excellent life-saving steak. As a curious note, this steak used to be called the hamburger steak. But after World War I, most English-speaking countries made a campaign to try and avoid as many German words as they could. And that is how the hamburger steak became the Salisbury steak, as we know it today. And in recent years, the Salisbury steak became a staple of the American cuisine. And this recipe could be seen in many of the 70s and 80s cooking shows on TV, where gravy was added to the recipe just to make it more delicious. But in recent years, it has become a forgotten recipe, as beef cuts and improvements in pork took over the market. For me, this is a historical steak, easy to make, easy to eat, and an easy fix for those weekdays after work. And to make the size very steak is very simple. Let me show you. I got you a Father's Day present. Father's Day present now? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so what is it? Well, let me see. What? Take it this, up, take it this, take it this, take it this. I'm gonna take my watch off. I'm gonna take your watch. Oh. Watch out, watch out. What watch the out. heck? Watch out, Farruko and Carol G. Yo! <laughs> Yo, this is real? It is. It is real? For real. Yeah, look at that, man. Dang it. The barbecue man with the bling bling. What do you got the money to buy this thing? From this my is, own this has to be expensive. From my business. Your business? My business. <laughs> she has a business. I do. Oh my God. Thank you, Miss Ninja. You're welcome. Dang it, this is awesome. You're welcome. Best present ever. <laughs> In a clean bowl, add freshly ground pepper and about one tablespoon of dry mustard, two tablespoons of ketchup, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one beaten egg, it is important for the egg to be beaten before adding it to the bowl. One tablespoon of chili flakes if you like flavors, and about a quarter cup of bread crumbs. Mix it all well and add the ground beef. In this case, it is a pound of 90-10 ground beef I got from the supermarket. Now, the trick here is to mix it as least as possible. We are trying to avoid the creation of protein strains in the meat, as you don't want for this to look and taste like a sausage. A simple fork is the best tool for the job but make sure you incorporate the mix into the meat with as least manipulation as possible. Now, it's just a matter of making the patties. The normal shape for these steaks is oval, but don't let that limit you. Round, square, or even triangular are good shapes too. Just have fun with it. Another trick is to form them all at the same thickness. For me, that's about half an inch thick. That way, the steaks will cook fast and evenly on all sides. Now we just add salt and pepper to the meat. Get a pan on the stove at maximum heat. Add two tablespoons of butter to it, and as soon as the butter melts, set the patties or steaks in. At this point, we are just looking to sear the meat, so about two minutes per side is good enough. Remove the meat, and in the same pan, let us create the gravy. The idea is to use all those burns the meat left on the pan. So with the stove still at high heat, Let's start the gravy. First, two tablespoons of butter. As soon as the butter melts, we will add one cup of sliced mushrooms, one cup of diced onions, and about a tablespoon of salt. Now all we need to do is to wait for the onions to caramelize and turn brown. Remember to stir the pan every once in a while. Once we have it all looking nice, we will add half a cup of flour and stir again. Make sure you cook the flour for about three minutes until it turns dry. And then add one tablespoon of ketchup, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and three full cups of beef broth. 
Bring it to a simmer and set the stove to medium heat, stirring every three minutes or so. We are looking to reduce the gravy and let it thick up until it looks like this. This is a good time to taste for salt, and if it is good for you, set the steaks back into the pan. Cook for about five more minutes, basting the steaks with a spoon every once in a while. Remember, here we are dealing with ground meat, and when that happens, I like to get my meat well cooked. But if you like them red in the middle, just cook the steaks for less time as you salt the sides. After about five minutes, remove the meat from the pan and get it ready to serve. This steak is normally served with mashed potatoes and bacon. But like anything else, you are the master of your own creation, so you can combine it with whatever you want. Just remember to add all that beautiful gravy to the top of the steak and serve while warm. Well, look at what I got here, man. And we have this beautiful steak for Miss Ninja to try it. Bling, bling. Virginia, did you ever try Salisbury steaks before? Yes, I had. You I'm had? watching Coco. He is so big. Coco is walking around there. Come on, Coco. Hitting everything on the path. <laughs> All right, Miss Ninja has some Salisbury recipe here with a nice gravy that I made. We mm. have some mashed potatoes and Which we have your, My your favorite. Your favorite asparagus. veggies. Let's go and give it a try and tell me. I'll take asparagus anytime over meat. Be honest, okay? <laughs> How, I'm always honest. How good it is. How do you like what it? How do you, you like this recipe? About? If it's good, it's good. If, if it's, it's not bad, good, it's bad. It's not good. And it is. Let's go for it and let's see. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Did you put some wine in it? Nope. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. That thing is amazing. This is so, so good. Easy gravy, guys. Not mm. complicated at all. It, it takes total about 15 minutes, something like that. Love it. Delicious, perfect steak, cook all the way through. If you're cooking ground meat, you should always cook it all the way through. Mm -hmm. If you leave it red inside, you are exposing yourself to bacteria and things that can be on the meat. You know, if you don't care much about that, hey, you don't care much about that. If you care a little bit about that, then cook it all the way and that's it. You're gonna, you're gonna avoid some crazy diarrhea, some crazy stuff like that. Ew. Hey, you don't know. Well, <laughs> in the video, I've been talking about that people used to die of diarrhea. Diarrhea used to be a big deal, let me tell you. Back in the day? Yeah, oh, now, wow. and, and the person that created this steak is Salisbury, Dr. Salisbury, which created this kind of diet and solved all the problems with diarrhea in the army and all that crazy stuff. Did so, you see how he was looking at the camera? Yeah, Mr. Coco. Mr. Kogu. I love him. Mr. Kogu oh, is... Uh, <laughs> he's so you know sweet. What? Let me give you a little piece of a steak. Oh, my God. We have another steak back there. Say goodbye, because I want to oh. eat. This is so good. So good. Kogu. Come here, bro. Take it. There Way. you go. <laughs> this is so good. And uh, can you tell me the truth? How much you pay for this thing, man? Uh -oh. This thing is awesome, guys. That's my new business. That's the bling bling business. business. Yes, it this, is. This is the bling bling business. Oh, and yeah. This thing is awesome. Oh, yeah. But this is not the real deal, I guess. Yeah, I have to ask you a question. Ask them. I have to ask you a question. Go ahead. I have to ask you a question. I do. Did I make you hungry? Did he? If we made you hungry, you had to hit us with the like. Lots and lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel down there. The whole recipe is down there. All the information you need to do. These amazing recipes are down there. Check it out, share it with your friends and family, and yes. let me know in the comments how would you do it. I know this is not the original Dr. Salisbury recipe. You know, he, he, his diet was completely different, but this is what became famous in the, in the 70s and 80s, in the TV shows and all that stuff. So it is delicious, it is amazing, and super recommendable. That's all for today, but remember that... I love ya. Love you too. Thanks for watching. Let's go eat and see you in the next see one. See ya. Bye. It looks like it's good. It looks good.